Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my Fluid Art channel. My name is Rhonda Robson. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. Okay, so I am starting a series of bloom experiments. And I really have been trying to get that technique down. I still don't have it down, but I've made some really cool, I don't know, they're little eight by eight experiments. I love this color palette that I discovered along the way. In this series, you're gonna see me as I develop that color palette, as I develop the way I do my bloom techniques. And I'm still not happy with the final results when they're dry, but I'm getting there. So let me get you started on this series. There's gonna be 12 of them in a row. They're little mini videos, and I think you're gonna like this series. Okay, so this one is the first one. I like it, I learned some lessons from it. What I realized that I, I didn't like the charcoal gray in it, so I took that out over the next few ones. But let me show you this one first. All right, well, let me get you down the canvas. Bye for now. Bye. Hey everyone, well, welcome. Today we're going to, as I talked about in the intro, we're experimenting. We're experimenting with the bloom technique with uh, Tammy Anderson's uh, recipes, yet I'm using my own based on some of the stuff that I've learned over the last few years as well. Plus, the types of products that I actually have in my possession. So. Today, we're going to be utilizing Sherwin-Williams Interior Semi-Gloss as our base coat. I also have Sherwin-Williams Semi-Gloss, Interior Semi-Gloss Base B as part of my medium with my polyurethane Minwax water-based clear semi-gloss. Now, I think Tammy uses gloss, if I remember correctly. And I'm using semi-gloss. So again, so as we all kind of create our own things that work well for us, you know, we, we experiment. And that's what today is. It's an experiment. And so I've got small canvases, little eight by eight canvases that I have on my turntable here, which is actually um, brand new. I just got it a couple weeks ago. So I'm super excited to use that. I have taken on that, you can see it's brand new. Look at that shine. So it's a cake, icing cake, you know, so cakes sit on it and you can ice stuff, but it works about the best. I had a turntable when I first started, Little Lazy Susan and it didn't work very well. And I have these two paint sticks stuck by duct tape underneath. Here, I'll quick show it to you. So underneath, right? So that way I can either turn it or I can try to stop it a little bit too if I really needed to, okay? So I also have this silicone mat that I cut out just greater than the, greater than the, the, the circumference of the cake, icing, cake, it's not a cake pan. I keep trying to think of it as a cake pan, but it's not. Anyway. It's a cake turntable thinger. <laughs> so anyway, we are going to do that. I have my paints already mixed up over here and ready to go. I have um, this Arteza purple. I'm gonna get my glasses on because I can't see. And I probably need to stop yelling because I have a new I have two new toys today that I'm playing with. I'm playing with my new Lazy Susan or my cake top thing. And then I have a new mic, which uh, I used to have to almost yell at my camera and now I don't have to. So, but I have um, Arteza. This is a Pearl Royal Purple, which is, that's kind of pretty. Um, this one right here, this pink is an Arteza and it's a pearl raspberry red. These are all metallics from Arteza. And then the blue is also a pearl and it's called Arctic blue. And so all of these are um, a level two or um, half opaque consistencies, okay? So 
then I have this bright deco art metallic. Um, it's it's like a I don't know metallic dark charcoal gray and then and I never know how to say it so that's why I say it that way but it's obsidian I think is how you pronounce that anyway and then I got the 24 karat gold deco art here and then my two cell activators I have um, Amsterdam white is a part of this one and then this black one is Liquitex Mars black so those are going to be my paints for today all right okay so now that the picture's done i'm going to put this stuff off to the side and we're going to start with our white and again the white we're just going to put in the middle it needs to be a thick puddle so i have my paint can right here and i also have a cup a measuring cup that I have just to kind of ladle it onto the canvas. Yeah, I'm probably off camera right now, but that's okay. So right here is where my paint's at. All right, so I'm gonna have to pause for just a minute and I'll make sure that I cut this out, but I need to stir my paint. Okay, so I'm gonna use these small little ladles here to ladle some paint on this. I'm going to use my I'm just going to put it right smack in the middle and I'm just going to let it sit there for a little bit and there will be some bubbles in that so I'm going to go ahead and try to pop some of that I'm going to get some gloves on okay I'm super excited to try this today guys so we are going to start with, let's just do a little bit of pink here and here. I'm going to do gray there. What I'm trying to do is just try to see what kind of colors I like too as well together and I'm not sure I'm going to like this gray so that's why I didn't want it on all of them. Just so you know, blue and yellow make green, right? So if I put this blue over top of this gold, it's gonna have a green tint to it eventually, probably. And this is probably too much. I'm just trying, to, <laughs> just trying something here, right? Okay. So this first one, I wanna do white. So let's put the white here. And I am not gonna blow on it with my mouth. I am actually gonna use a hair dryer. Okay, so let's see what the cell activator does. You just have to be really careful and blow down and out. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that go into this. There was too much paint on this. This is just a nice little reminder not to use too much paint. So I'm just gonna let it, it it's making the cells, but just not like, um, 
what I was hoping for initially, but now you've got to let the paint kind of come back together because I have just too much paint. I just needed one little puddle and, and try it from there. That's what I need. But it's it's got some cells going. So, I mean, it's got some good stuff. So let's go ahead and start spinning it, right? I like how this purple, how this over here, the colors look. There we go. Got it coming off the sides. So it did some really kind of some cool stuff. So let's keep going. Let's get this off and get it all the way off the side. So after this first experiment, learning, oops, I keep pulling my thing up and I'm sure you guys are hearing me. The first experiment I'm learning not to put too much paint on the actual, um, the color paint, you don't need much. So, um, that should be a lesson for everyone. But I mean, it did look, it, it's got some good lacing, which um, it does look kind of nice. So it is working, just something maybe a little different. So I like the, this color over here. So I'm gonna get rid of the gray. I may just have just a tiny bit of gray in this next one. All right, well, let me go ahead and I'll let that one dry just to have it drying for right now. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. So that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.